gauntlet in that last heat was Paige Harrop. She's standing by with Mike Latronic. All right, so we all knew the ladies would have their day in the sun. Now we're back on podium A. We get to talk to powerhouses like Paige Harrop. Paige, you got a nine-point ride in that heat, a couple of huge backside sack hacks. Something like your home break in Taranaki? Yeah, we got a couple of breaks like this, and I live on the West Coast, so it gets pretty big and wild like this too. Now, um, kind of noticed that you got the black rails. Is that sort of some, some kind of all blacks thing going on there? Uh, yeah, black's my favorite color, so um, yeah, I'm but keeping it Kiwi. Black is the absence of color, so there, there's some definite mystery to this. Now, but great, it must feel really good to represent New Zealand in this event and moving through the rounds in first place. Um, how important is that to, to bring that energy and bring that momentum to your team? Yeah, I love uh, representing New Zealand and um, yeah, it's just six of us here, no coaches or managers or anything, so we're kind of doing it on our own and just supporting each other and it's just a cool team vibe and it's been a pretty good week so far and uh, yeah, just trying to get as many points as I can for the team and for the country. No coaches, no managers, are you guys keeping it quiet in the dorm at night or? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're keeping it pretty low, um, but yeah, hopefully we can celebrate at the end of the week. <laughs> well, great job on your advancement. We'll see you in the next round. Cool. Anything you, you want to say to the folks home? Uh, hi, Mum and Dad. <laughs> All right, back up to you guys. All righty, thank, thank you, you, Mike. And uh, yeah, even watching that again, every time I, I, it does not get old. Watching that backhand wave that Paige dropped the nine point ride on, beautiful backhand surfing. And um, interesting, no, uh, no coaches traveling with them. I, I guess the uh, question I would have liked to have asked down there to Paige would be, you know, who is kind of uh, the veteran amongst the team and who's kind of leading the charge and uh, kind of your captain, if you will, you know, because I'm sure there is somebody there that everybody's looking a little bit more to, you know, than the other. Billy Stairman, he's a veteran on the, uh, the QS. And Paige Harab, uh, you know, she's, She's also a veteran on the women's side, so I would think probably both of those are, are uh, kind of the, the ones that are giving the guidance to uh, the other competitors. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I would agree that, you know, a little bit of um, the more seasoned competitor, they've got the experience and they're able to share that with the young ones, which is really important. Um, I think as a thinking, you know, when I was a younger competitor, like looking up to the older girls taught me so much more about strategy, where to sit, how to think, like that, you know, what you were just mentioning about your heat strategy if you were competing right now. Um, those kind of things. So to take those tips from the older competitors is a really good thing. And Paige is a phenomenal representative for women surfing. Think